the interest does keep building. I mean, what a, what a turnout, what a special day in support of ag and forestry industries. This year's Ag Day on the Hill continued in tradition, showing support for our state's largest and most important industry with livestock, <laughs> chicken, pork, and steak biscuits, and good old-fashioned competition between the State House and Senate with a corn shelling competition, all at the State Capitol in Nashville, bringing together lawmakers and key people in the ag industry. You know, Ag Day on the Hill is always a fun day. Uh, but it's an important day to remind everybody across the state that agriculture is the driving force in our economy here in the state of Tennessee. We need to invest in it. We need to uh, continue to understand the changing nature of the ag industry. And we need to invest in young people. You know, 4-Hers here, FFA members here, livestock uh, folks that are engaged in the livestock shows, and which is something that has been a part of my life growing up. But this is the future of our state and a future driver of our economy. My uh, mother's side of the family has farmed for 125 years in Montgomery County and uh, it, it's just a special, special day that we recognize agriculture as the export that it is and, and the business that it is. You're almost there. Ag Day on the Hill up here is an educational experience. I mean, you see 4-H kids here from all over the state. Uh, it's just a great uh, opportunity for uh, education with the animals and, and actually all the Tennessee products that you see are here on display, so we get a full view of that. My assistant lives in Nashville and was excited about Ag Day because of the animals. And I told her, I said, well, you can just come to the farm and you can pet the horses and the cows there. I think it's very good for them to be able to come out here and see the animals and, and really understand what's involved. I grew up a farm boy and uh, also my dad had, uh, my grandfather had 52 walking horses so I trained with them and uh, this is just right at home for me. Well this day is important because it shows uh, the General Assembly all the different things that agriculture provides for our state. It gives them a sense to talk to people. You know we have members rural, suburban and uh, urban areas so it gives an opportunity for all of them to see what really is happening in our state because sometimes you forget what's going on in Northwest Tennessee or Upper East Tennessee uh, when you live in Middle Tennessee. I think there are a lot of Tennesseans who um, don't have farm experience. I grew up on a farm, so I know what that's like, but a lot of our members um, perhaps do not, don't even know, um, you know, they have a vague idea of how crops are grown and cattle and chickens and those things cared for and harvested, but I think it's just a great experience, a great opportunity, particularly for our young folks. There's a lot of people that have never seen them before, you know, always get the question, can I bet you a cow, you know? Yeah, they're friendly, go right ahead, go ahead and do it. It gets a lot of the word out of how, you know, people that aren't raised on a farm get to meet animals, you know. You know, we get to meet new people, we get to explain to them about what we do on a normal day, and people get just to understand more about animals and what we do to get them here. It's a huge deal to get to come out and show everybody what the walking horse is. Probably one of the best breeds I think ever. Um, it, the walking horse is a real family oriented horse. You've got kids showing from two and three year old all the way up to we've got a lady that's 92 year old that shows walking horses. It's just something that people will remember forever because it's just a regular day basis, people just don't see livestock in, at the state capitol. It's definitely one of those experiences that not everyone gets to have and be able to go back to school and be able to share with your friends. I was able to go and take my lamb to the state capitol and share it with legislators. Um, but it's one of those stories that like leaves an impact on people um, and I hope to be able to continue that as we go on throughout our lives. It means everything to me because it teaches people more about agriculture and agriculture is life for me and more people need to be, know about it so we can continue to improve upon it. And, and does this goat have a name? Is this a boy or girl? This is a girl. Her name is Jelly. You guys, y'all kind of won by over a pound, I think, right? So what, what do you think? What, what was the secret? Teamwork. Teamwork. Makes the dream work, absolutely. What do you think, Rusty? House leading again. Fortunately for us, we figured out the process quicker how to win than the Senate looked like they did. It's awesome to see this many people get out here and support farmers and what they do and how they realize how important they are to our economy and to the world. I'm just proud to be here with our speaker. This is something he's very dedicated to, as you well know, and uh, we're, we're just so proud to be here with all these great folks from Tennessee. I'm a seventh generation farmer. I mean, there's a lot of things I could be doing at home today, uh, but it's often been said, you know, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. 
So we need to be, farmers need to be active, we need to be proactive in our local communities, we need to be active in the local and federal level of government, um, and we need to be out there telling our story because if we don't get out there and let our legislators know exactly what's going on on the farm, somebody else might tell them something that's not exactly right. But it's, it's really important for us to try to inform uh, consumers about where their food comes from and why it's important uh, to talk more about what we spoke here to here today. Why, why farmland is so important. Why it's important that we preserve farmland because it affects everybody in our community, not just family farmers like myself and my family, but every consumer when they go to the grocery store, go to a restaurant, they are affected by agriculture. It's been amazing. I've loved um, every second of it. We've seen all kinds of different legislators and representatives and when we even got to spend some time with Governor Bill Lee and get to talk to him about agriculture um, and it's an, just an honor to know that we have so many people backing up Tennessee FFA and 4-H um, and youth and agriculture and just the industry overall. I'm more inspired every time I come to the Capitol because I know that it's never been about just me. It's about the entire community of youth and agriculture and youth that are a part of 4-H programs. It's such a welcoming environment in the agriculture community and I'm always excited to see old faces and new faces that are all looking to advocate for the same message as we are. To be here today and to know that we have the support of our legislators is just so amazing and just the fact that they are here to speak with us about the things that are affecting the agriculture community just means so much to me. The most impressive thing today is working with the partner organizations, working with commodity groups, seeing producers, um, a junior livestock association, FFA, 4-H, and just seeing how this institution, this industry of agriculture really pulls together, certainly very visibly one day a year, but we know every day is Ag Day, but it's sure a nice celebration. Everybody's got to eat, everybody's got to have fiber for clothing, for construction of houses, put a roof over their head. When you look out across this landscape here and look at so many young people engaged in agriculture, great hope for the future of our economy in this state as well.